So as we understood in the previous movie, the first step is nothing but to import or enter the suppliers and then to get the suppliers approved. So what I've done out here is I I actually wanted to show you a little more than that. The process of supplier, as I said before, is uh, now moved to new modules. The process of identifying the suppliers, bringing the suppliers on board, qualifying suppliers, and then approving them, all that is now taken care as a part of supplier lifecycle management module in close coordination with Supplier Hub for importing the suppliers from external systems. So as a part of that process flow, the first step is to invite the suppliers on board. So uh, usually large organizations either they send a link to the suppliers to Oracle applications so that um, suppliers can follow that link and provide the information or um, the buyer simply creates a basic profile of the supplier and that through that way Oracle automatically sends an email to the supplier and then supplier logs in to Oracle applications as uh, as a how to say as as a supplier which is not yet approved and then provide the information requested by the supplier so once that gets over the next step is the, to qualify the suppliers the qualification involves um, reviewing the information provided by the supplier doing um, site visits or if the supplier is a manufacturing supplier <clears throat> then it could also involve say sample testing of the products that they are supplying to make sure it's adhering to the quality standards uh, approved by the buying organization once that gets over the supplier qualification process gets over then all the information that supplier has provided coupled with the qualification criteria a final review is done by the supplier management team and based on that review the supplier gets approved or rejected once the supplier gets approved then uh, then what Oracle has provided a facility is that um, people in procurement department can create something called as a supplier user admin so that someone from suppliers end can access Oracle and can take care of supplier profile maintenance and assuming that if it's a strategic supplier which means assuming that if it's a very large supplier which has got multiple supplier users multiple supplier sites say probably one manufacturing site in China one in Thailand one in Vietnam and on and on so what they do it is instead of taking the headache to maintain the supplier they delegate that responsibility and appoint someone called as supplier user admin which is a person from supplier supplier side so that user admin is like a super user appointed from supplier side who takes care of uh, delegating responsibilities to smaller users uh, from the supplier side and any maintenance to supplier profile and updates and all that is done when Oracle I supplier portal is implemented so the supplier user admin can log into Oracle I supplier portal and can do the supplier profile update and delegation of duties and supplier maintenance so that's basically the process of how suppliers can be brought on board in a way uh, right from uh, when the supplier is not there in the system at all and assuming that if the supplier is already there but the definition is in some other system and if you are implementing payables for the first time or if you have acquired some company which has got a different system then supplier data can be sucked into Oracle through as I mentioned before something called as an interface which is a standard like a plugin which is provided by Oracle so without customization you can simply suck the data into Oracle as long as it, it uh, the data gives all the required columns required for supplier master profile 